this is Mark with All American Health. Like the title says, how to make $1 million a year in the non-emergency medical transportation industry. So I broke down the numbers and I'm gonna I'm a give you a comparison between the non-emergency medical transportation industry broker model versus the private pay model. So the, and you know, numbers are numbers. To make a million dollars in the NEMT industry providing broker services, if your broker is paying you zero to 325, you have to do 40,000 trips a year. 40,000 trips a year. You have to do 3,000 trips a month. Roughly, it's actually 3,300 trips a month. And 111 trips a day. Now, some of you are sitting there saying, shoot, I, I only do 30 trips with my broker. I only do 40 trips. I only do 50 trips. I'll never make a million dollars. First of all, it is very possible to make a million dollars in the NEMT industry doing just broker work. I know a lot of companies who do it or who have done it in the past and they will tell you it's becoming more and more difficult to hit that million dollar mark. But it is possible. Okay? That's a lot of trips though. And all of those are wheelchair trips. If you're doing a hundred and 11 wheelchair trips a day to be on the safe side you got to have a minimum and this is this is still pushing your drivers you got to have a minimum five vehicles and that's if you're on the safe side my clients all of my drivers drive under five miles under the speed limit we don't drive five miles over the speed limit we drive five miles under the speed limit and i do that on purpose on uh, one we we track the vehicle mileage and a signal comes on if they go over that amount which lets them know via messaging are you going too fast we do that for insurance purposes for the most part it shows the average speed of the driver um you know and if it, there was ever an issue it's just something we do to cover ourselves it's kind of like a best practice mindset uh but 20 trips a day per driver, that's 10 clients. Yeah, you need about five vehicles. They, and even with, with that, they, they're humping it. They're really, you know, they gotta know what they're doing. They have to know what they're doing. You're probably in one of the vehicles. So technically you don't have five vehicles. You have four plus you. And I never include the person that, that owns the business as one of the individuals that should be driving. How can you work on your business when you're working for your business? Your business is supposed to benefit you. You're not supposed to benefit your business. But that's a story for another day. Now, let's say you're providing NEMT transportation services, private pay model, B2B model. You're charging a low fee and mileage rate. Let's say that same zero to three miles, you're getting a $25 load, and then you're receiving $2.50 per mile, which is a fair market rate for transportation services. I know a lot of companies that's doing 25 load, 250 a mile. Uh, well, how, how much, how many trips would you have to do to uh, get to that million dollar mark? Your trip count goes down 30%. Now you only have to do about 260, I'm excuse me, 26,000 trips, not 260, 26,000 trips a year, as opposed to that 40,000. That, and that's if you're trying to make a million dollars off of NEMT. That's 2,000 trips a month, 74 trips a day. Look how much money I just saved you. How much gas, maintenance, insurance, and employee costs, unemployment tax, workers' compensation? How much did I just save you just now? 
but y'all don't like me because of the way I talk and I present myself on camera. I'm not for everybody. I've never been for everybody. Y'all know I've been on my Jesus talk lately. This is my ministry. Just like my mama. She had a ministry too. Jesus wasn't for everybody. Everybody ain't like that dude. They killed him. I'm not, I'm not everyone's cup of tea. To this day, Christianity is not the majority religion throughout the world. It's not the most popular religion. It's not for everybody. It's just spoken the loudest in America. So I don't want everybody to like what I have to say. I don't want you all to enjoy what I'm saying. Because a lot of you thought y'all was running a really good company. And then you got on my channel and was like, dang, Mark is telling me the whole way I have my company set up is wrong. Yeah, pretty much. How much are you gonna save on gas, maintenance, employees? 75 trips, if you if you have drivers really rolling, you only need four vehicles. I just took you out of your vehicle. I just changed your whole business model. You went from having to work to not having to work and you keeping the same amount of money. Again, we're running businesses. We're not creating jobs. We're here to make money. We're not here to stay busy. We own the Starbucks. We own McDonald's. We're not here to work in it. Your business model should be so authentic, so certified that your employees don't want to take days off. You should have a competitive atmosphere. Not asking when they can take off, boss. Boss, I need Friday off. They should be scared to take days off because your model is set up where they want to go out there and make that money. They want to close deals and opportunities. Nugget, reverse engineer what I just said. Most of y'all won't even get this far down into the, the video because you don't think it's for you. Only a, a very small percentage will actually get this far in the video. I watch my analytics. Y'all drop off at minute two. That's why I just be talking trash the first four to five minutes. Listen to what I just said. Your driver should not be to coming to you talking about, oh, I'm taking the day off. They should be scared to take the day off. Not because you cracked the whip, not because you fire people so quickly, but because your atmosphere is built where they, the, every day you make money, they make money. Your business model, you're hiring the wrong people. Stop hiring people that just want a job. You got to hire headhunters. You got to show them the vision. Look, we're going to take over this five-mile radius. This five-mile radius is yours. Go get it. I'm going to pay you a flat rate so you know I care. But outside of that, you got you to gotta bring in four or five facilities. You got to advertise on your social media. People got to start calling you directly for transportation services. And then I get a percentage of it. That's how you build your transportation company. Make, make them their own boss. That's why this on the back end of the video. This is what I charge people a lot of money for, man. I just gave you, gave you the game for free. So don't sit there and say, oh, your rate's too high when you're charging somebody for information. I just gave you how to, how to keep people in your vehicle for longer than three months. How to change your model from being old. Man, I just picked that up because I lost my other job to, man, I'm trying to be here forever. This man just paid me two stacks for transporting people this week alone. And he said I could get as many trips as I want, but I just got to go out there and advertise and get them myself. Man, get out of here. That's why your dispatcher software got to be on point. You want your drivers coming to you and saying, hey, we need to add this trip to the list. We need to add this trip to the list. We need to add this trip to the list. We need to add that trip to the list. Because all these people calling me, they trying to book trips. That's how you make a million dollars. You don't make it by doing it yourself. You make it by giving, you get that work out to everybody else. Let them make the money. You commission base them. You give them a base salary like a waitress. Waitress love working on Friday nights. Waitress love working 
on on Saturday nights because they know they're gonna make that money. So what what the restaurant owner do is they say, hey, look, I need you to open, but I want you to close. Waitress don't mind coming in to open because she know how much she gonna make on closing. That's the attitude you have to have. That's the vision. And you gotta be able to sell people on that vision. And when they're not hitting a certain number that you expect them to hit, you let them go. If they making a thousand dollars a week for themselves, they should be making you a, at least a thousand dollars a week from that vehicle. That's at a minimum. You get somebody that, that understands sales like that, you'll never have to encourage them to work. You'll never have to encourage them to keep the vehicle clean. You'll never have to worry about contacting them and saying, hey, how's the vehicle running? They'll tell you, because they don't want to be in no fucked up vehicle. If the vehicle run bad, people not going to want to ride with them. If the vehicle in the shop, they're not making money. It's not how they want to live their life. Hopefully this has been helpful. Just gave y'all the game, man. I just gave the whole thing up on how to keep an employee, how to hire. You guys take care.